This is Think Tech Hawaii, Community Matters Region. Well, aloha, and how you doing? Welcome to Hibachi Talk. Gordo the Techs are here with my um, uh, co-host, Andrew the Security Guy. Hey, everybody. Actually, aloha. you should be the host because he's on two other, he's on another show. I'm just the part-timer here. You're trying to get out of the you're, work. You're a no, full-timer no, here. You're doing everything you can. We have an incredible show today. We have a, a, this lovely lady who is just a, beyond fathoming. I hope I don't tear up during the show because you're just, you really get me so emotionally attached to what, what you, you've done. So we have Patricia Waywood here, and, uh, and she has a story that's it's, it's incredible. I'm looking forward to telling it. So please grab a chair, pull up a libation, and join us for a thrilling and exciting episode if you watch you talk. Patricia, like I said at the beginning, I always got to do a little story on, I do thing on cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and blockchain. And mm -hmm. I saw Jay did a show. Jay, who's one of our founders, um, did a show on blockchain. Okay. Nice try. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't, okay. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say, Jay. Jay, keep it up. You're man. working keep going at it. For it. You're, you're, you're sort of getting there, but that's okay. But anyway, I just thought, you know, since we're, um, everybody thinks of bit blockchain and they think of money and Bitcoin and all those things like that. Um, but I'm going to throw one at you. The blockchain used to verify internet advertising. Sure. Because, you know, do you believe internet advertising? No. When someone puts an I ad up? I don't believe anything anymore. Uh, yeah, yes, well, that's true. You can't, <laughs> you can't believe anything. I, I believe Patricia, that's for sure. Thank you. Because I did the homework. But, you know, but, but, <laughs> but, but, but there's all of that happening. So um, there is a uh, whole um, blockchain design or called BAT, and they're looking at, um, looking at trying to solve a couple of problems within internet advertising. Uh, monitoring of information on the whole to validate that what's being said on the internet is true. Yeah, so when you get when you get a pop-up ad or when something comes at or you, you go that to it's the, really real, it's not a hacker, right? Right, you sure. go to that website gotcha. and Makes it's sense. there. Makes okay. sense. And the other one is, is verifying that the actors and partners who are doing it are not being fraudulent. Wow. So it's a, and they're using the blockchain, sure. the technology underneath that to do that. Is it fast enough to handle? Because how many, how many websites are getting opened every second? Every like second. billions, right? Well, you figure it's going out if, it, if it's mining those websites constantly, not waiting for the ad, but going out and mining. And oh, just to event, verify Just them. to verify that what's on there. Now, the thing is, someone said, well, what happens if they don't buy in? I look at it like this. If you don't buy in, you're like the Better Business Bureau. Yeah. If you don't buy in, you're not going to get this authentication. Yeah, it's using it like a check, like a, it's not like yes. a fact checker. Right, that this is a legitimate ad from a legitimate website right. and not, not a hacking. That's yeah. awesome. That's so I'm cool. just trying to get the message across that blockchain yeah. is more than just the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrencies. Okay, with that. Now let's we, get to the good let's stuff. Let's get to the really good stuff. So Patricia, you're, you're just an amazing young lady. And you. um, um, I got to say the story. So you bicycled from California to New York. Was it New York? Actually, it was West Point, New York. West Point, New York, yes. by yourself. Mm -hmm. Without a um, no support. convoy, wow. no wow. support, mm -hmm. and, and to do this for the wounded warriors. Yes, wow. wounded warriors. Awesome. So okay, but before we get it, so I got to do that intro. That, okay. Give us a little background on yourself. So where did you grow up? Like who are you, <laughs> Superwoman? <laughs> well, besides Patricia, um, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and I was living there through 26 years, and it was getting really, really too comfortable. You know, I'm someone who likes to be challenged, and I thought. I know where all the good coffee shops are. I know where the good bars are. So I'm like, I need to do something big and bold and just <laughs> get out of town. Wow. And okay. just get out of town. So honestly, what I did is I packed a suitcase and I had no job in Hawaii. No, I didn't know anyone. Right. I didn't have a place to stay permanently. And I just packed a suitcase and got on a Delta flight to uh, Honolulu and got wow. off and, and they didn't work. And here so you are. Right. Didn't okay. have a job. So you're, I mean, you're, there's no kidding you're adventurous. I mean, so you That's did, adventure. you did, you, you did, you know, you, and you did the trip to Hawaii after you had done this um, trip across the United States. Yes. Now, what did you do? That, what was the purpose of this bicycle ride? Sure. So starting at the beginning, a very good place to start, I really wanted one thing in life, and that was to join the military. Okay. Uh, and I couldn't do that because I only have one hand. And I tried to join every single branch, and they all said no. Mm -hmm. And I even enrolled in law school because I thought if you become a lawyer for the military, you don't have to meet the same standards. Sure, like a JAG officer, sure. Yeah. Well, during law school, I found out, yes, you do. So I left wow. law school, and I was really disappointed. But there's always two ways to handle things. You can either be an immature little kid and say, I want to get in. I want to, you know, you should let me in. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, you know what, it's... I like to say it's the Marines, not the Make-A-Wish Foundation. They okay. don't exist to make your wish come true. So if they say no, just deal with it. So I thought instead of 
being a battle buddy for the soldiers on the field, which is right. what I wanted to do, I could be their battle buddy when they come home and raise money for organizations that support veterans. So then you put, so you put this idea yeah, you put Thank this you. idea together mm -hmm. to go right across the entire United States of America to raise money for the wounded warriors. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Did you I don't some, know anyone. Did you have some veteran friends in, in Cleveland or some some or family that had been in the military or what no. was the, the inspiration or just your desire to get in? Uh, oh, you mean to join the military? Mm -hmm, to serve. Well, I I'm just so grateful for what they do. I mm. thought you can't just say thank you for your service because that rings so hollow. So I thought the wow. so I thought the best way to show how grateful you really are is to join them. Mm, sure. So that's why I wanted to join. That's right. Yeah. Huh? So 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 this is so mm -hmm. so what, what did your parents say when you said, oh. "Oh, I have an idea." Oh. Well, funny thing is with my mom, I didn't tell her because okay. I knew she wouldn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> So I posted it on Facebook because I know she's not on Facebook. Okay. But then she called me one day and said, hey, Aunt Jane saw something on Facebook. Are you really, like, riding across the United States? And I knew the gig was up, the gig was up so I said, yeah. yeah. So then she kind of accepted it. Where, where were you when you got caught? <laughs> oh, I hadn't started yet. Oh, you're, I was you're still on Cali? raising awareness, yeah, oh, okay. of the ride. But, how, how long was the, the um, funding effort? How, how long were you able to? Um, I kept it going for uh, a good six months, actually, because then the run up, I right. tried to spread the word and say, here's what I'm going to do, you know, mm -hmm. follow my blog and please support me. So in the end, after, I'd say a good six months or so, I ended up raising um, 10 grand. Wow. $10,000. $10, now, yeah. did people, did people, they had to, did people doubt that you were going to do this? That, uh, people who knew me didn't. Okay. Because um, they knew I'm, once I set my mind to something, I'll do it. Yeah, you're pretty tough. Oh, uh, yeah. So, no, no one said, no, nah, she's not going to make it. <laughs> People knew that would. And did you did you do a lot of cycling before, or did, was the cycle just the, the what was the, where did the cycling part come from? I was guessing. Oh yeah, well actually I've been cycling on and off since I was about seventeen. So and, and I thought if you're gonna raise money and you want people to buy into what you're doing, mm -hmm. you got you got to impress them. Right. So I thought you got to do something that people might not think you can do if you have only one hand. So right. I thought oh. Cycling. I already have a bicycle. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll just do that. So, so that's how I, I got already have this. a bicycle. Yeah, that's how I got into the, the cycling. That's how I decided to do a cycling trip. But unsupported is a brutal effort. So how the? I mean, so now let's get into that. It's a great question. I, yeah, I mean, wow. So you you didn't go east to west. You went west to east. And I have a we have yeah. a map that we can throw up a picture of this show. Unfortunately, we didn't have a high enough graphic to make the oh, background. Okay. But you know, if you take a look at this, is you started on the west coast. Mm -hmm. Right, and you you went all the way across to the east coast, mm -hmm. uh, and how long did that take? That took six weeks. It took you six weeks. Yes. I couldn't drive that in six weeks. Yeah, well, it was really hard riding. That's. Uh, I had to take time off work, and I couldn't take you know three months off, so I just had to settle for six. Oh, weeks so you had to make it work. <laughs> okay, I got to cram this into six weeks. Is that all the vacation I have? Yeah, or it was unpaid actually. I took. Unpaid yeah, I really hours. unpaid. Yeah. Unpaid. You funded it yourself. Mm -hmm. And yep, you raised ten thousand dollars. Thirty days. I'm just trying to do the math. What'd you average? Eighty miles a day or something? Yeah, that's, that's my record is one thirty. Oh, so Getting eighty to one hundred thirty miles a did, day. Did you get any breaks? Like, did I did you take, take a, rest, a day or a rest two. Day, I would think yeah. you some. Oh, you have wow. to. Wow. Yeah, or else you just collapse <laughs> after but, a while. But you had no backup vehicle. There was no support mm -hmm. van behind you. So what happened? You got a flat tire. I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you, she already knew how to do that before yeah, she took yeah. off. Yeah, you. Yeah, that's, they teach cyclists that right away. It's one of the first things you have to learn how to do. Yeah. Or if I look really pathetic, some guy will stop and help me and say, "Oh, I'll do that for you." I say, "Here, sign. I'll just take the you. Thanks for the break. <laughs> I know, sure. I know. Yeah. So, how, did, how many flats did you get? Can we? Can we? Did you count them? Three. That's not bad. Oh, no, three. Three thousand no. or twenty-five well, hundred miles. Three flats. Well, if you get the really high-quality tires. Sure. But, yeah. It's okay. So here's here's I never thought of this boy. If, if someone wanted, if one of these um, companies wanted to get some little bit of gravy out of this, we're, we're going to bring you back on another show. This we say mm -hmm. we're going to at the other show we're going to say the name of the tires and the name of the bicycle. Sure. So and the sure. name of the brakes. Sure. And all of that kind of stuff. So that when the next time is around, someone talks about going mm -hmm. across the country six weeks, you can rate. We'll take any monies they want to put in. Go back to your next project, which we're going to talk about in the second half of the show. Okay. Because you you're you're relentless. You're not. So did you go tubes or tubeless? Tubes. Did you use tubes. Yes, Just, yeah, smarter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what? Give us a couple of interesting stories that happened along the way. In this. Oh, okay. The first one I can talk about is in. Missouri. So that's kind of start. 
into the rag. So I was getting a little broken down, like my back was hurting, my arm was hurting. I'm leaning on my handlebars like this, like just pedaling kind of on autopilot. And I thought, oh my God, I, this hurts so much. And all of a sudden I look in my mirror and I see there's this, this coyote is chasing me. <laughs> oh. And I thought, pedal, you want faster, faster. <laughs> so, so so then I so that's you forget instantaneously that you're in pain because you yeah. gotta get away from this thing. Yeah. So then I was going, going, going. All of a sudden, I looked down. He's gone. So I thought, oh, thank, thank goodness. So that was one interesting story. And um, the other one was uh, just meet, actually meeting veterans along the way. Was okay. The best yeah. Part. Yeah, because I had I was a rolling billboard. I okay. had the wounded warrior logo on on my back. Okay. So people have actually see me and put two and two together and figure out that I was doing something for them. But wow. you didn't do and anything to promote this. So no one knew you were coming into their town or city, correct? No, and actually some veteran friends from Cleveland thought about doing that, but then they thought if a girl is riding by herself, they don't want to draw too much attention to that. Right, okay, that's a good, it. never thought of it. So yeah. a girl right by herself. Yeah, is out, going, out on the road. Out yeah. on the road and for six weeks with no backup. I'm still going on it. Mm. No backup, no mm -hmm. van. Yeah. So no. would uh, would veterans stop just on the road, like see see you riding and pull over and, and uh, introduce themselves? Well, they would toot their horn, but yeah. at, at rest areas or McDonald's, they would come up to me, and, oh, nice. or parents of soldiers would come up to me and tell me that they appreciate what I'm doing. Wow. So that made it all worthwhile. See, if I were doing this just for the heck of it, I wouldn't have gotten out of California. But since I was doing it for the Wounded Warriors. It, that kept me going. Yeah, and I gotta gotta give a shout out to the uh, Cleveland uh, newspaper. Mm -hmm. Can't remember the name. I apologize for that, but they did a great article on you when, yeah. when uh, when they uh, when that was announced that you had completed this ride. I yes. forgot the route. Did you go through Cleveland or did you? Yes. Did you? Okay, I would think you would have kind of because I saw you deviated <laughs> she north. Kind of so. went through Cleveland. Kind of went around through wow. there. How did you pick your route? How did you how did you pick a starting point and what what was a well, that's a process I would guess. Yeah. Well. Process of elimination. You think, well, I don't have unlimited time, so I don't want to go through the mountains. Yeah. So that sent me south, and then I thought, well, I don't want to go through the. I, I wanted to go to Cleveland, so that's why I started in the south mm -hmm. west, and then went up toward Cleveland, and then over to West Point. Would you hit through like St. Louis and? I did St. Louis. Yeah. Through St. Louis. Wow. What time of the um, year did you do this? Because you had to deal with weather too. Because you got to yeah. you got to figure out when to fit in. I wouldn't want to be driving across Arizona in the middle of summer. Well, how about Texas no. last week? Yeah. Oh. That, that would have been brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did it in the spring. So reasons that you mentioned, you don't want to be in the desert in summer. Right. So I did it in the spring. But the trade-off is that once you get east, you get uh, into snow. <laughs> so I was did you get in the snow? snow. Yes, I did. In Missouri, I was, in, I was riding in snow. Wow. That's no yeah. There's no such thing as snow tires That's on a bicycle, no fun. Well, there are. They have spikes. But, I mean, you probably didn't have spikes with you. I'm not no. a, did you have a road bike? or a? I had a road like bike. A, and yeah. the, well, the best part was that I didn't bring any cold weather gear. Oh. I didn't have a coat. So, so, so there's the other thing. So like, we're going to take a break in just a minute and okay. then come back about the second half of your mm -hmm. day. You had... You had you carried everything that you needed for that trip. I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. In, in two supply bags. In two supply bags. So I lived out two Six weeks bags. across the country. Mm -hmm. no, I'm going to keep saying this. Six weeks <laughs> across the country. No support vehicle. You carried everything you needed in, in the bag. Yes. Awesome. And so yes. you had to buy your food along the way and yes, all those things. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Just plan each day, day by day. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to take a short. We're going to take a short break now. We get Angus in. He's going to talk about some gadget he found. Okay. Um, and uh, we got Patricia here, who's just telling you this incredible story. And you're going to do something even more incredible, and then we'll talk about that in the second half. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back in about a minute. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness.
Hey, aloha. Welcome back to Think Tech Hawaii Studios and Habachi Talk. Uh, Andrew, the security guy here. I got a quick thing. I just walked in here from a security briefing that's going on upstairs, and amazingly, some of the best advice that came right from the director of Hawaii's NSA. Update your systems, people. Patch them. We talk about this all the time. One of the simplest things you can do, no cost to it, make sure you're doing it on a regular basis. All right, Angus, what do you got for us today, buddy? Say it, Drew. Hey, welcome back, man. You got yourself a wee sweet lassie here, don't you? Trisha's a wee sweet Trisha, she's a real sweet. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're really welcome. Uh -huh. Anyway, I got a wee gadget for you. Yeah, you know how hard it is to make a meeting? Make a meeting? Or coordinate a meeting. Okay. So you got, like, I got to call five people and say whatever. I found a great new app called okay. Doodle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you go into Doodle and you just, you just invite people to a meeting and they have to pick the date they want to attend or dates. Yeah. And once the, the majority comes in, you say, that's the date, send out the invite, and away you go. Yeah. And it's free. And it's free. Yeah. It's free 99, <laughs> Angus's favorite price. <laughs> you know how cheap I am. Anyway, that, so that's, that's, I think, check it out. Check out Doodle. That's a really, really, really cool app. Oh, yeah. app. Save your friends some time and annoyance and save emails. Oh, yeah. Doodle's it's it's good. awesome. It's terrific. So, very good, Patricia. I really appreciate everything you're doing. Oh. You're an awesome, awesome lassie. Thanks, Angus. Anyway, we're heading out of here right now. And like we say at the end of every, every one of my segments, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Aloha. Yeah. Angle, Angus bringing you Doodle today. Doodle's a good tool if you haven't used it. Check it out. All right. We're back with Patricia and Gordo. <laughs> So, All right. so let's, let's, we, let's get into this. In the this. first half, we talked about six weeks across the United States, and you know, 80 days around the world in the balloon, <laughs> six weeks riding a bicycle. Again, I'll say it again. No escort, no backup vehicle. You carried everything you needed in yourself and you, by yourself, and you did it across the country. Amazing. Thank so you. now you're moved to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. You pick up your, your bags out of Cleveland, come to Hawaii with no job, but right. you have your work now. Did you buy a one-way ticket? I did. <laughs> so strong. I love that. Thank you. She bought a one way ticket. You've been here a little over a year. Mm -hmm. um, and you, you work for a great employer, and um, um, you're in the finance business. We're not going to get into detail, but you're, mm -hmm. you're one smart lady, that's for sure. But now you're not giving up. You've got another idea. So, what's your new project? Sure. Well, there's another reason I moved to Hawaii when I did. Okay. In January 2016, when I was still in Cleveland, I heard about the accident with the 12 Marines who got killed offshore mm -hmm. here in January okay. 2016. And I, it just struck me. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go to, when I get to Hawaii, when I get to Hawaii and get settled, I want to do something for them okay. and their families. So this coming January, I'm going to ride my bicycle 12 times around the island, once for each of the 12 Every Marines. Every day. Every day. One day. Yeah, so 12 days in a row, and each lap is going to be for um, one, of the, one of the Marines. And that's not all. I'm also going to raise money for service dogs for veterans that have PTSD. And I want to raise money for 12 dogs, one for each Marine, and then okay. we're going to name each dog after one of the Marines. How's that? That's awesome. Yeah. I love it. I think you might get some. <laughs> I think you might have some escorts on this trip. How's, okay. If they see this show, there's so many. Oh, there's so many cyclists yeah. here. You know. Yeah. So yeah. many. So many cyclists. But but how's this? So I want to. I got to restate this. So mm -hmm. you're going to go once a day, for 12 straight days. Mm -hmm. You're going to round the, around the island, and for each one of the officers or each one of the military that were in that crash where the 12 had passed away. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do that, and then you're going to use the money to help. Um, uh, 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 educate service dogs, mm -hmm. and each service dog is going to be named after each one of after those one individuals. Of right. And what a each, legacy. Yeah, and then each That's of those a great dogs, gift. Yeah, so thank you. And then each of those dogs will get paired with a veteran who's struggling really hard with PTSD. PTSD. So, yeah, so yeah. if you get a veteran PTSD, you pair the dog, uh, mm -hmm. pair the dog up with, with the veteran. Yes. You right. can't get any better than this, can you? What a program. <laughs> and and is, is this uh, also something that you just you thought up for yourself? Just uh, You thought it up to, to yeah. give back? I'm on myself. What an yeah. idea. So how are you going to find, this is, this job is going to, this job, this, this, no, I don't get paid for this. I mean, this, this show is going to certainly help, I hope. Um, so now you're going to have to start fundraising, right, and get the word out. Now, we're, yes. hopefully we can use Hibachi Talk and think that to get the word out. But how are you going to get the word out? I mean, you're, you're, you don't go around town. You're not one of these people that's around town and knows everybody in town and can talk about what you're doing. You're right. new here. Right. Well, I'm getting better. My network is expanding. <laughs> Good. And I also did something I've never done before. I built a website. Awesome. Okay. I built a website. So it might look a little crude right now, but I'm learning. So if I can promote the website, may I say it? Yes. Yeah, you, okay. of course, sure. yes. Okay. Yes. 
So it's rideforoursoldiers.com. Rideforoursoldiers.com. Very easy to I saw it. You built it this weekend. Yeah. Takes awesome. a while. Takes she a while. built it this weekend awesome. and then uh, sent me the link and I went in and started looking. It's, it's, you're well on your way. Well on your way. Well, if you. we, I think if we visit some of this, I know some of the local bike shops and stuff, so I think we get a poster up in there, you know, to and well, we have link, to get, link we to have the donation to, side. We have, and, to fund, we have to fund for posters and things like that. So, yeah. okay. so I'm going to go on the record right now that um, GJB and Associates is going to donate $500 to help promote this. And ISTO will wow. match that. So we might now get $1,000. Thanks, guys. That'll get you that's started. Fantastic. So, and that's going to get the word out. Yeah. For this event. Yeah. Yes. I'm tearing up. <laughs> Good. It's amazing. That doesn't Thank happen you. often. No. Oh. Well, it, it, uh -oh. yeah, yeah. It's it's you know it's kind of cool. So well. yeah, so we're going to help help you to promote the promotions. This. Yeah, Thank we're you. we're good at that. Everybody awesome. everybody does what Gordo tells them to do. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> only wish. You only wish. <laughs> well, except for those one mayor. So, that one mayor. So no. so but so you you decided to do this. We got one day a week. You're going to drive. For, so but did you think I'm just going to do this like I did across the country? I'm not going to have a sponsor. I'm not going to have a a backup vehicle. You just want to do it like independent. If I get a flat tire, I'll, I'll fix, fix it. it. <laughs> you're, mm -hmm. So and you'll you'll take your um, um, your own food with you. Yes. You're gonna so so that is that part of the goal. You want to make sure it's that independent. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah, and I, I knew that was the answer. Well, the, the best part is a lot of the families of the Marines who were killed mm -hmm. know about this. Okay. So they're gonna be following it along the way, and it really means a lot to them to know that. We're, we're doing this. Yeah, and, and, and what, so what was I think that? a lot of the local cyclists, when they hear about it, they'll, they'll, they'll provide some escort for her along the way. Oh, you'll uh, just get some, you'll well, get some fo def followers. Definitely be encouragement. Sure. You can guarantee it'll yeah, be especially encouragement. Especially after, I can't even imagine doing that, because it's over 100 miles or so. Then per day. day two, you get up and do it again. Then I mean, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 forget the legs. How about your butt? Enough, not, not it gets much. hard eventually, <laughs> as she knows. It's got to be tough. But, you know, I can't imagine. I just, it's, it's a lot of distance. You, know, you talk about riding 1,000 miles. That's, so, crazy. That's just a lot. Uh, yeah, 1,000 uh, 1, miles. 1,200. 1,200 miles. Yeah. And um, in January, right? Do you have the dates already? I do. So it's going to be January 1st to the 14th. And it ends on the 14th because that will be the second anniversary of the accident. Wow. Okay. Well, okay. so that you just answered one of my other questions. So I was thinking that, that accident was a couple of years ago. So, so second anniversary of the accident, you start off on the 1st, New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you ain't partying on New Year's Eve. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't want to start off dehydrated. That's, not, that's a bad day I don't on a bike. Think that would be a good idea. No, I'll go to bed early, although I think the fireworks are going to keep me up anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I might as well just stay out there and have some fun. Well, in January, it can be tough, you know, because it's windy out here. It can be wet. So there's, it can be not as easy of riding. Like, so I'm sure yeah. you face some tough weather. Like you said, you're in the snow yes. uh, on, your, on your trip across the mainland. Well, yeah, in January is when Hawaii repairs all their roads. Nah. So you're going to go yeah. through a lot of construction zones. Yeah, you'll have to go through. That'll slow me down a little bit, but I'm not worried. So what so. route are you going to take? You know, not necessarily route, but what direction are you going to go? Are you going to go? I'm going to go counterclockwise. Yeah. Counterclockwise. So, so you're going to start, so where are you going to start? In town? Uh, my house. <laughs> in, um, near Kahala Mall. And so then you're going to go Okay, we need to around. find, okay, we got to so work out. We got to work out. Klan and then yeah, out. Yeah, now you're making it so, she's making it such a simple thing. I'm starting at my house. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that makes <laughs> sense because that's where you're going to get out of bed. That's basically is. Yeah. Right, so you're going to start at your house and then you're going to spend the day um, going around the island for the next 12 days. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, I tell you, we got to do it. What do you uh, think of dawn, dawn start or dawn, what, time, what time do you like to start? Whenever you wake up? Oh, earlier the better. If there's one thing I learned on the cross country ride, start as early as possible oh, yeah. because you'll never know what you're going to hit and you might ah, need extra time. Sure. So start early, so like six. Do you, do you ride in the dark as well? Do you try to get it all done in the, in the daylight? Or? Yeah. Because here you get about 12 hours of light, so yeah, it's kind of tough depending on what happens out there. Yeah, I would like to get it done before. Or the darkness falls. So you yeah. figure if you start early in the morning, you'll finish mm, before you it gets get dark. Get on the road 5:36 and get done 5:36. So yeah. you're gonna go from your home all the way around the island back to your home? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. This is so simple. Yeah. So I simple. mean, uh, yeah. simple to well, say, not yeah. simple, not easy to do. It's easy. So. To, we can make a circle with our finger. You see, that's I, I easy can do to this, do. right? Well, I'm already tired just doing this. <laughs> yeah, I really respect the work for the Wounded Wars. They're they're very active out here. You know, you see them in races, um, on pure, and some of the running races yeah. and cycling races, and some of the triathlon. Yeah. So, um, I think I think when they hear what you're doing, you're gonna you're gonna get some some followers, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> and definitely cool. some some contributions. I think to help with your cause, well, I don't think great. that'll be a problem. I, I would like to say that the uh, organization that raises these dogs and trains them and pairs them with the vets mm -hmm. is uh, 
Canines for Warriors, actually. Oh, canines awesome. for Warriors, okay. okay. Warriors. I was just going to ask you, so it's Canines for Warriors is the organization. Mm -hmm. So, and what's then... The, what's the goal? What's your... Yeah. What's your um, dollar what's goal. Your, uh, yeah, your dollar goal. Everybody hang on your socks. Um, okay. Each dog costs 15 grand. 15? So multiply that by 12. Oh, okay. multiply that. So 15 times well, we 12. We got some work to do. So we got some work to That's do. 180. So we will do it. Yeah, okay. okay. We're going to do it. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it. So we, we're we'll going to do, do the math 15 yeah. times 12. So it's each dog is $15,000. Yeah. We can do this. Mm -hmm. And we're going to help you do this. Thank you. Hibachi Talk is going to help you do this because I it's, Thank you. You can't get any more uh, worthier than this. Yeah. Believe it or not, Patricia, we have yeah. burned through an entire show. Oh, wow. You have just, you know, you've done anything. So mm -hmm. give us your website again so we can get that pu published. Sure. It's rideforoursoldiers.com. Rideforoursoldiers.com. Mm -hmm. um, so, and um, you better, on, I'm, I, this is an awesome, one, number 132 in the series. I think it's one of the best shows we've ever done, if not the best show we've yes. ever done. I think, I think it's uh, the first wow. fundraiser show we've the done. First fundraiser. This is just awesome. This is, you. A, this is your cup. Thank you. Uh, and hopefully we're going to fill that up with uh, at least $150,000 or more. Cool. At, at fifteen thousand dollars a dog, mm -hmm. and we're going to help. We're going to help you to get to promote this and get the word out on this. Thank you. Well, you get what you pay for because these dogs really save the veterans' lives a lot of the time. It's a fact. I love it. It's awesome. You're a special kind of lady. Thank you. Please oh, watch this you. show. This is amazing. I want to thank everybody for watching Hibachi Talk. I want to thank you for what you've done for our veterans and how much you appreciate what's going on. And like we say at the end of every show, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. How, how are you, you doing? doing?